Self-destruct sequence activated. Three, two, one. Hello, fellow researchers. Um, as a lot of you are probably already aware, there are a lot, <coughs> a lot of us out here that are putting a lot of sleepless nights into uh, trying to figure out what might have happened on March 12th with the uh, what appeared to be a reversal of our magnetopause. Um, now there's an argument. One camp says it was faulty, glitchy data, and that's why the data no longer exists. Um, I'm not discounting that, but we've been doing our own investigations. Um, because there's just a few things that didn't quite add up to several of us in the research community. I've been in contact with the folks at uh, GBM, Fermi, um, ASDC. These are the gamma ray burst experts. They catalog these things, they track them. Uh, two other scientists did respond to us and shared their archive with us and we started looking at some of these uh, gamma ray bursts and uh, we got down to the fifth and sixth one <clears throat> and they were detected on uh, March the 12th 2012 but the disturbing thing is is when they were detected um, there's several uh, there's several publications on the same gamma ray burst as you can see. There's uh, four, well, there's three right here. This is raw data from uh, GCN observatories. So let's uh, let's take a look. Gamma ray burst one two o three one two a. It's got the detection date, let's see, March 12th, UTC, the first, observer, the, the, the first observation was at 2321 UT. Um, let's look and see where that's at. Uh, we got the coordinates from this site. You know, this is uh, factual data. You can go check it out yourself. I'll provide a link to this archive uh, in the description box. Um, so let's go take a look in Google Sky. We've already got it archived. It's on the push pin right there. This is an optical light. And we'll back out for a second so we can get an idea. Um, about, let's see, about 24 degrees above the equator. And you can see the surrounding constellations. And this is optical light, so let's see what's there, if anything. Here's the area of space we're interested in. Now, I don't know exactly what the um, how much room there is for error. Um, assuming this is a very deep space object, um, this is where our instruments uh, picked it up. This is the area of the sky. Now its point of original origin could have been refracted by any number of uh, forces <clears throat> that acted upon it and its thousands of light years of travel from the time it erupted to the time it reached Earth and was detected. And in saying that, uh, you gotta realize if ground instruments and in observatories here and in orbit detected this, then it's safe to say that this gamma ray burst did encounter Earth. I think we can put that fact to rest. 
question is, would it have any effect at all um, on Earth? Let's take a look at this in a uh, microwave. Here's the microwave sky. Centered on our gamma ray burst from the 12th. Uh, it doesn't reveal a whole lot. Let's look up in infrared. Again, it doesn't reveal very much. Um, you really see more in optical, but it still doesn't pinpoint an object. What about the big picture? I thought it might be on the galactic plane, but it's but it's not. But nonetheless, it happened on March 12th at around 2,300 hours. What else happened on March 12th? videos to load. This happened on March 12th. This is now to the 13th. Let me back this up. Now some of the time frames will be missing. We, we have reconstructed as much as we could, but the data is no longer there. Let me go back to the 12th. Here's the 12th at 1630. Magnetic pause reversal. 1700. There's going to be a data gap. I don't know that we can see what was going on at, we're not going to be able to see what happened at the time of the gamma ray detection. Um, we're not trying to draw a conclusion here, we're just pointing out some, uh, some strange coincidences. And another thing we're doing is we're going back uh, at least one year, um, several of us we're taking this in one or two month chunks. And we're going to be analyzing uh, data uh, from Fermi. We're going to be analyzing, uh, comparing um, solar events, ACE data, ghost data over the past year at least. And uh, comparing that with uh, magnometer data resonance data, um, these gamma ray burst events. We just want to see if there's any relationship at all. Um, this is where our research stands at the moment, guys. Um, I hope some of you find this uh, useful or at least thought-provoking. Again, we're not trying to jump to any conclusion. We're just pointing out some um, some strange, suspicious observations that we have made as we have uh, studied this event for over a week now. Everybody take care and be safe and take this with a grain of salt. Do your own research. Take care.